Becca! 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 What? What did you do here? What's the matter? What is this? What's what? The television. What is this? Oh, it was the tornado program. You said you wanted to watch it. I record it for you. Why? Oh, Christ. What's the matter? It's Danny's tape. You recorded over Danny's tape. No, I didn't. Pride and Prejudice is on that tape. We were watching it last night. I switched them. What? I watched Danny's tape later after you had went to bed. Well, why didn't you take it out of the machine? Why didn't you check to see what was in there? I thought it was the TV tape. It was one of the baby videos? No, it was the most recent, the long one. The park was on it in Mexico and... How was it supposed Christmas? to know you snuck down here? I thought it was the TV tape. Well, it wasn't. I know that, Howie. So it's gone? Whole thing. I'm sorry. It was the only copy back up. I know. I didn't do it on purpose. Are you sure? What is that supposed to mean? Do you think I would record a Virginia's tape on purpose? You don't know? I should have taken it out of the machine. Why would I deliberately record over Danny's tape? I don't know. Why would I? I don't know. I mean, you took the paintings off the fridge, Danny's paintings? To save them, I put them in plastic. And shoved them in a box. For safekeeping. Okay. Okay. I didn't throw the paintings out. I know you didn't. You think I didn't want that tape? I don't know. You... Obviously. Obviously, you didn't do it on purpose. Okay, but... But what? But maybe, maybe subconsciously, you, you, you just don't want to do Subconsciously, though, they're telling you in group that do things subconsciously? You're trying to get rid of him. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's what it feels like to me sometimes. I mean, every day, it, it's something else. It, it feels like you're trying to get rid of any evidence that he was ever even here. I didn't know the tape was in there. We're talking about the tape. And the paintings are downstairs in a box. You can go look at it whenever you want. His, his clothes, his, his shoes. We don't need that the, stuff. The house? Why do we need that you stuff? You want him to sell the we house? We talked about the house, Taz Howie. Taz sending Taz to your mother's? We had a lot going on, Howie. We were fine with the dog. I was the one walking him. Well, he got underfoot. Right. Right, and he was a reminder. Yeah, he was a reminder. So what? I wanted one less reminder around here. That's perfectly normal. Yeah. Yeah, and since you never wanted the dog to begin with. Oh, for God's sake. Well, if I hadn't bought the dog in the first place, we wouldn't be here now, well, would we? Well, if I hadn't come in to check the phone, or if I had checked to see if the gate was latched. No, I left the gate unlocked. Well, I didn't check it. I'm not playing this game again, Howie. It's no one's fault. Not even the dog's. Dogs chase squirrels and boys chase dogs. You're telling me yourself. He loved that dog. Of course he did. And you got rid of him. Right, like I got rid of the tape. I I'm get it! I'm talking about the tape, Becca! Not just the tape! It's Taz and the paintings and the clothes and it's everything! You have to stop erasing him! You have to stop it! You have to stop! Do you really not know me, Howie? Do you really not know how utterly impossible that would be for me? To erase him? No matter how many things I give away to charity, or how many art projects I box up, you really don't think that I don't see him every second of every day? 
okay, maybe I'm trying to make things a little easier on myself by giving away some of the clothes or hiding some of the photos. That does not mean I'm trying to erase him. The tape was an accident, and believe me, I will beat myself up about it forever, like everything else I could have prevented but didn't. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not, that's not what I want. No, because that's what it feels like. It feels like I don't feel bad enough for you, that I'm not mourning enough for your taste, oh, that I'm not on, mourning Beck. in the right it's way. bullshit. But believe me, Howie, I am mourning just as much as you are, and my grief is just as real and awful as yours is. I know that, Becca. I know that. You're not in a better place than me. You're just in a different place. And that sucks because we can't be there for each other right now, but that's just the way it is. It's tough. It's all we have left. That's all I'm saying. And every little bit of it that you get rid of, you just, you just erase it. I understand your... you don't want to let it go, Howie. I get it. Do you? Do you? Because this isn't a... Something has to change here, okay? Because I, I can't do this, like this. It's too hard. It's too hard. And I want that dog back. Okay, I'm sorry, but your mother's making him fat. And I want the dog back. <laughs> Why don't we just wait until we're I don't more want to. How much more do we have to lose? I miss the dog. I'm sorry. I miss him. I want him back. 